great performance and laparoscopic surgery can only be achieved with rigorous training. That's why I decided to build my own inner trainer to develop my motor coordination and skill. You will need a plastic storage box. This one is 40 by 30 by 19 centimeters. You will also need some light source. A ready-made fluorescent light fixture should do it, but I prefer to use a LED strip. 1 meter of a 7.2 watt per meter strip and a 10 watt LED driver, both 12 volts, are more than enough. This can be bought in a hardware store ready to use for those who do not wish to splice and solder wires. The back of the case is better for drilling. You should mark the center of your holes as you would place the trockers in a patient. You should mark all possibilities you use because it will make your trainer more versatile. First drill the center of your holes and then use a 4 cm diameter hole saw to carefully open the holes. Then drill 3 mm holes less than a cm around the edges of each hole. I used the neoprene cut from a small bag I had at home. Place the neoprene under the holes and mark them. You can then punch 3 mm holes in the center and 2 mm holes around. You can also use another sharp tool for this effect. Pass a strong thread through the holes to fix the material in place. If you are not able to open holes in the neoprene, it is better to use a needle. Otherwise, place a small amount of duct tape on one end to make the thread stiffer. When you are done for each hole, tie the thread in the inside of the box. This is the final result of the exterior or of our simulated patient. As for the light source, you can place the LED strip around the bottom of the box, which is now actually the interior of the top side, and the driver and the cephalet side, secured with double-sided tape. Use cable ties to fix the strip and cables in place. Create a loop in the main cable to prevent accidental pulling. Next, we can use an MDF or wood board to cut and glue the shapes we want to prepare. A small single piece of board can be covered with colored heavy-duty tape to serve as a basis for suture chaining. It is convenient to nail four headless nails to the board, apart enough that they can hold whichever suturing material you want to use. I would also recommend these four small wall picture fixings. I will show you why in a minute. You may use velcro to fix the boards in place. This way, you can change them as you like. The velcro strips should be perpendicular between boards to ease removal and board exchanging. Neoprene is quite good for training with needles, and a Foley catheter may be used for training tension not tying. You can make use of many materials to complete your training boards. Here you can see various sized MDF boards glued together, with some headless nails and drilled holes. I also used two color duct tape heavy duty with this model.
Last item is the camera. I bought an HD camera for about 36 euros. It has better picture quality and it permits some digital zoom as I haven't got a laparoscope that I can zoom in in my field of view. On the PC side I use an open source software called Virtual Dub. You go to File, Capture AVI, check that your webcam is selected in Device. Then you go to the video, stretch the window, and you can set capture pin to the highest permitted resolution of your webcam. You should also disable the information panel in capture. The instruments for laparoscopic surgery are fairly expensive. I bought new disposable dissector and scissors on eBay for about 40 euros each, delivered. These are not quite like big name brand, but they are okay. You can also see an harmonic scalpel, thoroughly washed, that wasn't bad for some exercises. The needle holder was also bought new from eBay. It was about 180 euros delivered. Again, it is a far fetch from the quality established manufacturers offer, but it's okay for this purpose. The box and web camera set me about 65 euros in materials total. I find it fairly cheap for this kind of result. Thank you very much for watching.